What is going on everybody? My name is Japes. Welcome back to another episode in my path to power. Whew. It's been a little while. It's been a long while actually. I went on my my classic yearly FIFA siesta or hiatus, however you want to look at it. The uh, one time in the year where I just, oh man, I just had had a, you know too much of FIFA, but also it compounded with a little bit of traveling this time. And I think I was out of town three days for three or four days for each of the past like three weeks or something like that, which is uh, I'm gonna be out of town another three days this week. And by the end of it, I'm gonna just want to be at home. But uh, we're heading on in to a match and gonna get back. And I expect it to be absolutely abysmal at this game because it had been a little while. Now that's not to say that I haven't played some FIFA because I have played some pro clubs uh, and I love me a bit of 11 man pro clubs. So that's really what I've been grinding on this guy, 442 squad, not too shabby looking. I don't know how I feel about a midfield made up of, or a central midfield pairing of Wayne Rooney and Mesut Ozil on FIFA. I don't think that's the best uh, way to look at it. But we're rolling with this 4-1-4-1 team of largely pack-ish pulled. Well, not. It was originally like a pack-ish pulled team. And then we added some players here, added some players there. The player of the year in the BPL, Eden Hazard, doing some work on the wing for us. Cutting inside and gets clipped, taken down. And I'm going to try to recreate or replicate Hazard's penalty from earlier today. That essentially won Chelsea the championship. And I tried, I like put it in the right spot. I just didn't get it all the way on the ground. The keeper dove out of the way, so I was a little bit bummed. I was hoping I'd get a rebound or something and uh, get something kind of fun with that one. But nice bit of work there from Fernando. Plays back to Herrera. Herrera out wide to Sanchez. And I'm going to do a little bit of work. I've been, uh, I decided to test and see how, uh, how the dribbling was doing lately, you know? And we baited him in right there. And then, oh, it's just too much. It's just too much. And he takes me down. So I thought, hey, we can try to replicate it one more time. And I thought one more thing better that I like is a little bit of that chip life. And we went for it. It wasn't like a fantastic, you know, chip. Uh, but nonetheless, still using the chip mechanism uh, on the... What is that actually? Why can I not think? I'm spacing right now on the actual... Is it a Penenka? Is that the actual name for it? I can't remember. A little fortunate right there. Uh, but we did find the run. I believe that was Herrera streaking free on the inside. And it's uh, this team is actually really good. It's really well worked. I'm going to make some changes to it coming up here. Um, and we're going to open... Well, I think that's actually going to be next episode. Um, but you guys are going to be getting plenty of content coming up here. Do not worry. Uh, for those of you guys that are going to be leave some nasty comments, I fully expect it. Um, and I probably deserve it. So that's A-OK -okay in my book. But we will be uh, we'll be back on the grind. Um, team of the season's coming up, which I'm, I can't decide how excited I am for it. Because frankly, I still am just not... I'm not huge on opening packs. Uh, but I've got I've got a few things that I have in mind that I think will be kind of fun for it. So hopefully you guys will be around to enjoy that a little bit of a ride with me. This guy, 4141 as well, which I thought was interesting. Not a formation that I'd come up against. I mentioned it in some previous episodes a long time ago that this is kind of the forgotten formation for me on FIFA. And while I really enjoy it, I still don't think that it's the best formation. But it's a fun formation to use without a shadow of a doubt. Especially if you like isolating, you know, your players on the wings. Alexis. Uh, Sanchez and Eden Hazard are great players to do that. It gives you plenty of combo play inside with your essentially little diamond between the striker, two CMs, and the DM. But we are picking up a loose ball here, Alexis Sanchez. It's 1-0 at this point, 18th minute, and this game this game got out of hand quite quickly. Um, you're going to see it. That's a lovely over-the-top through ball. And we have the instructions on Hazard to stay forward and get him behind. A uh, little fortunate to keep it right there, and then it uh, does a nice job working it. Working a little bit of space, and this is kind of the combo play that I'm talking about. Eventually makes its way to Oscar, who plays a wonderful pass inside to Herrera, who's slashing at the goal yet again. And even though there's a deflection, not a spectacular finish, but it goes in nonetheless. And it's Herrera kind of leading the charge for us again right here. I really like a four-star, four, or both CMs have four-star skills in this formation. It's not as important in some of the other formations. Uh, lovely pass from Fernando, finds Hazard, and Hazard is going to bang it home. Player of the year. And I figured, you know, should I try to go out and get those 14 goals with him and then sell them on and build a new team? I thought maybe that would be a fun thing to do. Try to, I'm going to try to incorporate some of the stuff that you're actually seeing. I'm so nervous for the Bayern matchup in the Champions League coming up here with Barcelona. Um, and I've actually got a special video for you guys that's going to come out uh, probably tomorrow um, with, uh, you know, kind of with that. So... I'm, but I'm so, so nervous because Bayern has not been in great form. Um, 
lost to Leverkusen yesterday, which was not a great... Just not a great way to go into a Champions League match. It's just not what you want to have on your mind. But we'll see how... We'll see how it all plays out. Has it stepping up for yet another penalty in this episode. This time I tried to keep it low, put it on the other side. Maybe that would work out. I don't know. I'm just having a little bit of fun with those penalties, though. Uh, but nice bit of passing play here. Using the right bumper A to do some fancy passes. And it's Hazard getting in behind, cutting inside, and smashing home. A little bit of a half volley there in the 48th minute. That's actually where this one would come to a close. Kind of took the foot off the gas. Or not so much took the foot off the gas, but we tried to score some supreme montage goals, if you will, in the uh, for the rest of the second half. And none of it really came off. But that is where we are going to come to a close of this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, I'll be reading through some of the comments and stuff like that. Uh, so if there is anything, any questions you guys want to ask, feel free to do that. Otherwise, you can follow me on Twitter at AirJapesFIFA. Um, but we'll, have, be, we'll be back with an episode, probably a Path to Power tomorrow, as well as that special little Byron episode. So be on the lookout for that. Um, otherwise, my name is Japes, and I will catch you all next time.